Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to get on here and give you a quick update on what's been kind of going on today. It's been kind of a, a weird day. Uh, some bad news flying around a little bit today that I wanted to get into. Um, as you know, the Edmonton Expos this weekend, I was finally going to get Rose McGowan's autograph on this. If you remember back in April when I went to the Calgary Expo, um, I got, you know, most of the gang to sign, Skeet, uh, Matthew Lillard, Lee Waddell, of course, go space, right? Um, Sydney herself, Nev Campbell, and we got um, Jamie Kennedy here as well. That's Randy, of course. Um, but Rose McGowan was supposed to be there, and she had to cancel. Something came up, so that was a bit of a bummer. But as I mentioned, you know, plenty of times before that uh, she was coming to the Edmonton Expo. So, awesome. That made it all worthwhile right there. I was like, perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my plan was to pull this out of the frame today, get it rolled up and go down and get her to sign it for me. Um, that was going to be the plan this morning. And it's, you know, it's Friday today. It's Friday, September 20th. This morning I, I get up and I see, uh, I just wanted to see when her photo ops and stuff were so that I could, you know, time it so she's going to be at her table when I'm there, you know. And uh, I look and I see she's now listed under canceled guests. <laughs> and I'm like, what? You know? So I research it and I start searching, Googling it, whatever. And I find an article on Facebook from three days ago where apparently it was announced that she had a, something come up, you know, obviously like career-wise and a scheduling conflict again, so really really disappointing i actually saw her post on juliet lewis's um instagram post just last night and i'm like hey and i saw that and i thought you're probably posting that from your hotel here in town that is so cool and i was gonna say looking forward to meeting you tomorrow but i kind of chickened out you know but uh, I didn't after uh, she canceled. I actually went right to that post and was like, oh man, I just found out you're not coming. That's a bummer. So hopefully you come to Alberta sometime. Yeah, so super bummed there. That was really the only guest I was super stoked to meet. Uh, Robert Patrick had canceled a month or so ago. He actually posted on his Instagram um, that he was not able to go and he apologized and said he'd be back next year. So that's cool. <clears throat> excuse me but again yeah I was really hoping to have Rose uh, sign this for me I don't know if I'll ever get David Arquette or Courtney Cox or Drew Barrymore I think those are pretty big stretches so uh, Rose was one of the few I thought I'd, I'd have a real shot at getting and I always liked her in that movie um, thought she was super cute I used to crush on her a little bit I was about 20 years old when that movie dropped so anyhow uh, so that's some bad news from the expo bit of a bummer and I had a three-day pass as well, and really I've only worked out going with a buddy of mine for a while tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm pretty much on my own again. So I was thinking I might go down today with the Scream outfit on and go and meet Rose. You know, that would be cool. But that is now dead in the water, unfortunately. And I'm lacking a lot of motivation to go down today because really the only other guest I have any interest in whatsoever is Danielle Panabaker. And she's the one from, I guess she's in the Flash series. I don't watch that, so I don't know. But she was in the Friday the 13th uh, reboot that came out back in 2009. She was uh, Trent's girlfriend who was, uh, yeah, uh, didn't work out well for her in the end but I thought it'd be cool maybe get her autograph on my new uh, 4k version that I just picked up um, I actually shot a video late last night talking about what I was doing and I was going to upload it today but uh, after the change in news I just thought I'd better do a whole new uh, video just sort of going over what happened for today um, yeah so I don't know if I'm going to be going to the expo at all on Friday or Sunday I guess we'll see if I have a reason to go or maybe I can find somebody who wants to go with me perhaps I would go but so far it looks like maybe only Saturday and uh, it'll be just the first power stuff that I've been working on which again I'm expecting pretty much nobody to know so I don't want to go there and get my hopes up thinking that people will really enjoy it when the reality is it'll probably be a lot of folks that don't don't know the character or the or the movie so 
that is a bit of a bummer but what do you do right i'm gonna go there and have fun regardless for saturday but it is hard to deny you know the disappointment and it's year after year with edmonton's expo it's always disappointing it's always a very poor turnout of of guests a lot of cancellations uh, a smaller show than Calgary. It just doesn't compare whatsoever. It's actually kind of embarrassing. That's just my opinion. But I feel like I could run it a hell of a lot better because they're doing a terrible job and they can't seem to get anybody to want to come here. And my guess is Calgary is so close to Banff, you know, Lake Louise, Kananaskis, all these beautiful mountains and stuff. And we are quite far from that. You know, we have a river valley and a big mall, a really neat big mall. It has a water park in it. Yeah, so again, not very appealing, I think, for a lot of stars. And unfortunately, it's it ends up crushing fans like us that, you know, spend months and months looking forward to meeting these people. And they wait until the 11th hour, just three days out and cancel on you. It's just brutal. And that's twice, twice she has done that unfortunately so very 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 disappointing but you know i get it like i said this just isn't uh, a popular visiting spot i think for a lot of celebrities and it is what it is i guess uh, you can't can't get mad over it it you know it's just you got to go to the calgary expo that's for sure because that is the one where they uh they definitely can snag some guests and the calgary horror con again for uh putting on that uh, event every year that's always awesome and they're usually able to get some pretty awesome names coming out so I do appreciate that but anyway that's pretty much it for the expo update uh, just going to get into a couple of more things hang on one sec okay and just hopping over here for a quick sec over in my Michael Myers area here um, I just wanted to mention that the uh, current best Myers of the year contest is on right now it is being uh, put on by The Shape of Winter. He has an Instagram account that is uh, uh, Myers of the Year. So you can look for it there if you have any interest in checking it out and seeing all the awesome cosplays because there's a ton of really good cosplayers in this. I would say uh, there's probably a good dozen or so that are like elite looking. Like, um, Unfortunately, one of them is a fellow that I just recently met uh, that I'm paired up against. So uh, I have a very tough matchup because he has a very good looking uh, kill setup. It's like high end like mine, but it's um, it's some really nice looking professional style outdoor photos with Halloween scenes and stuff. And he's got the Halloween three skull mask in his hand and everything. It looks really good. Like they're just, they're really well done photos. And I didn't really have anything to submit. I haven't done uh, a lot of photo shoots and stuff. And then mainly because I'm usually on my own, I don't really have anybody uh, taking photos from me or anything. So it's hard to get out and get these great photos, but I'm sure I could do some better ones. It's just this year, I just put in that one where I was testing it out uh, a year and a half, two years ago, like right in, right in front of this thing. Um, it's a cool shot because I like the lighting and everything, but it's not, you know, it's not like an atmosphere shot. It's just kind of a shot of my cosplay. So I knew I was in a bit of trouble putting that in. I wasn't expecting uh, uh, to get far. I think the furthest I've gone, and this is the third one that we've done. The furthest I've gone, I think I went second round last year with that cool one with James Jude Courtney, where he's kind of like, you know, that was a cool one. I did like that. But uh, yeah, that, that got me as far as second round. That was fun. And uh, the first year I did it, I think I was, I was tossed first round. But uh, this year I'm probably destined for the same, which again, it's no big deal. There's a lot of really good cosplayers in this. And, you know, we do it for fun and stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, if you have any interest in checking it out or if you want to vote, and I mean, you vote on pairs. They just, we get matched up I, randomly. I don't know exactly how he does it, but um you just pick one or the other. It's basically top or bottom that you select. Um, it's funny actually, when I voted on mine and I was going through each you know, clip on the story and going top or bottom, I didn't realize, but the one right before my matchup, I was sort of, I was sort of torn on and I'm like, mm, I wanna go top or bottom and I'm like, mm. I'm like, okay, I'll go top. And just as I'm pressing it, just before I get there, it switches to my matchup and I go boop and I vote for my opponent. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, you're a dummy. But whatever, 
it's no big deal. Like I said, I'm not really expecting uh, uh, to go far against a guy like that. Uh, he has a really cool photo, really cool guy too. I'm following him now. Um, so again, just kind of a kind of a tough matchup. You kind of wish you were with a picture that maybe wasn't uh, quite as whoa, like it advanced like that. So um, anyway, but if you do want to check it out, it's Myers of the Year on Instagram. Jump on now. Um, you can still vote for this particular round. This is the uh, the end of the first round. You have to break it into three parts because Instagram is not gonna let you upload like 50 photos. It'll just, you know, totally screw with them. So he broke it into three parts and I'm in this third heat now. So mine are on until this evening anyway, where people can vote. But uh, again, check them all out, see what you like and, you know, vote for your favorites. It's a, it's a fun contest, it's a lot of work and we appreciate, uh, you know, any of the exposure and uh, just bringing people together in the community for uh, for some fun. You know, we're all Halloween fans and uh, it's, it's good to see. So for sure, check it out. That's Myers of the Year on Instagram uh, or The Shape of Winter. Uh, he's putting it on and uh, you can find a lot of information uh, through him. So that is what is going on with me this weekend. Uh, next video, we'll be talking a little about my experience at the expo because i'll be going tomorrow at least anyway um in the meantime i guess i'm going to be looking for a photographer or maybe some friends because <laughs> uh, i gotta get to work and take some real photos i mean i got a really nice cosplay set up and i i feel like i need to need to commit to some good pictures and stuff at least uh make good use of this you know and take time for myself to do it i just been real busy lately and it's tough to do these days so anyway thank you guys as always for watching i appreciate it and we will see you again for another one real soon take care guys